The Mifoto Backpacker Air tripod really is a lightweight and small piece of equipment um, and it's very handy to have. But there are a couple quirks with it and they do frustrate me. Stick around and I'll share with you the good and the frustrating parts of this little tripod. Hi, this is Bill Booz and this is Photography and Technology Tools and the topic today is the Mi Photo Backpacker Air Tripod. Uh, this Air Series, this is a, a model, one of three models in the new Mi Photo uh, Air line of tripods which are um, they're promoted to be lightweight and, and that's why I got it. Um, they uh, change a couple things, that is Mifoto changed a couple things the way the tripod works from their previous line to, to add to that lightweightness. Um, so I was excited to get this not too long ago uh, and I did that uh, an episode, a couple episodes ago on all the tripods that I have, uh, the array of tripods that I have and I wanted to do this one sp on, specifically on the Mifoto Backpacker Air because it is a little bit unique and uh, I got it because it's light, I got it because it's small, I got it so I would use it and take it with me most of the time. And I think I will. I haven't had it that long, I haven't had it that long, but I'm, I'm really uh, liking what I'm experiencing so far, with a few exceptions which I'll talk about in this video. Um, you know, as it is usually the case in my videos, this is not really a full-fledged review of a product, although this is probably closer to a review than any other uh, film that I've done. Uh, it really is more about my experience so far in working with this particular tripod. And so that's what I'll be focusing on. You know, just as a, a matter of information though, uh, when it's totally folded as it is here, as you see in the picture, uh, it's 10.4 inches long. And that equates to 26 and a half centimeters. Uh, quite small, really. A nice little package. And when the tripod is fully extended, it's 59 and a half uh, inches long, tall. Uh, when fully extended, as you can see in the picture, and that's the equivalent of about 151 centimeters. Um, it's, it only weighs a little under two pounds, 1.9 pounds, and that's about 900 grams. Uh, and it's supposed to hold a payload of up to 8.8 .8 pounds, which is four kilo. And that's a fairly hefty camera. I've got, uh, in, the Im in the picture, I've got my EM-1 on it, and uh, if I have the legs in, in one of their wider positions, I'm, I'm comfortable with the EM-1 on it without my touching the tripod. Also comes with a nice case, not not a case like the older me photos, the other models of tri, uh, me photos come with, uh, just a, a material case and uh, the nice strap, uh, and it has a little pocket inside because it comes with a uh, smartphone holder. I mean, it's just part of the package. So I have it right now. I have it on the uh, slider that goes into the the ball head, um, but uh, this this. Uh, Smartphone holder will hold, you know, it holds my my um, uh, iPhone 7 Plus, so it, it'll hold up to the larger sizes of the uh, of, of smartphones, even in the Android family. Uh, and it has this little pocket into which this can be placed. Uh, in addition, it, it comes with uh, a Bluetooth uh, button that can be stored on the stem of the tripod. Uh, and can be removed and, and then used. It can be charged through a USB, a, a micro USB plug. Um, but if you pair this with your smartphone, then you can uh, place the tripod remotely and then, you know, you might be in a hiding place if you're trying to take pictures of birds or some animals or something. And you can fire video or uh, photos by uh, pressing the, you know, once you've paired it with your phone, by pressing the Bluetooth button. So that's really quite handy. Uh, I tried it with my um, uh, native app, it worked perfectly. I could start a video, I could stop the video, I could start a, uh, or I could take a picture. And, but when I tried it with Pro Camera, another app that I like to use, and with uh, Filmic Pro, an app I like to use for uh, recording video on the iPhone, uh, it wouldn't work. So uh, it, it does work, however, with a native, uh, iPhone camera app, and susp I suspect it would work with native Android apps as well. Um, okay, so that is the tripod.
One of the issues with any tripod, and one of the reasons that people pay big bucks for really you know, fine tripods, is you're putting an expensive camera on it, typically. Uh, even in the case of an iPhone, and iPhones aren't cheap, uh, or, or smartphones in general, but the, my, the iPhone in particular, not cheap. Uh, and so one of the things that um, the, the, you can do is add weight to the tripod. It's, it's not so much of a problem if you're inside with your tripod, because there's no wind. But if you're outside and there's a little bit of wind blowing, uh, it can, it can move, knock your tripod over. Uh, so you want to be able to stabilize a tripod in some way. And what the uh, Mi Photo has is a uh, hook at the bottom. I think all their tripods have this feature. So you can pull this hook down and attach something weighty to it. As you can see in the picture, I found two Coke bottles. I put them inside the uh, uh, bag and I hung that from the tripod center. So that would add stability. And those Coke bottles were kind of heavy. Um, so that would add stability to your tripod if you're concerned about it being knocked over in some way. So that's uh, a, nice, a nice feature that that um, is there and ready to use. The thing that is uh, well thought out in this is that you can remove this center post um, simply by loosening this knob at the top of the feet and removing the uh, hook attachment and taking the uh, center post out and adding your um, phone uh, attachment or holder and then you turn the top the ball head and it loosens stems that are inside the center the shaft which was you know becomes the top shaft so this is uh, would be if it was on the tripod this would be the top of the tripod so you can now loosen this and the ball head has this cut out so that you can bring it forward so it's look it's looking at you and put your smartphone in there and you've got a selfie stick. Now, selfie sticks are taking a bad rap uh, and, and perhaps rightfully so if all you're doing is taking pictures of yourself all the time. Uh, but with the, uh, the increased interest in journalists being able to be their own one-man band or one-woman band, uh, a selfie stick becomes the cameraman and the journalist can stand at a crisis or an event or whatever and talk to the camera uh, and uh, turn the camera around and use this as kind of a stabilizing way to take pictures. And the nice thing about having the Bluetooth button is that you can stop and start the video as you need to based on what's happening in the scene. So um, selfie sticks have more than just selfie uh, functionality. I mean, I use one for a holding um, a uh, flash unit off camera so that you get better shadows and so on in your images. So if I want to put this back in here now, I slip it back down in the shadow. Now what, what, while I have this off, one other thing that uh, occurred to me when I was getting ready to do this video is you can put this in upside down. And so you could conceivably get closer to the ground for macros and keep it steady. I haven't experimented with that yet because as I say, I just thought of it. Uh, but certainly it is a way to use this um, uh, the ability to take the shaft out and put it in either the right way or the wrong way, which would give you the capability of being able to uh, have your camera or your phone camera close to the ground. Okay, so as I said, mostly I've used this mostly with my smartphone, my iPhone. And when I've used it, it's been fine. Uh, you know, I'll use it, for example, if I'm doing a video update. Recently, I've been doing them in front of the shelves that I have in my study uh, as an, an alternative to the way I used to do them, which was at my desk, where I have built a little uh, rack that holds a camera and, and two lights and the microphone. Um, but when I do that, I'll, if I do it sitting in a chair away from my desk, I'll use the Mi Photo as the uh, tripod to hold my my iPhone because I record those sessions all on my iPhone um, and, the, and the other way I've used it is uh, to, just to hold my I have a, a holder for my iPad as I'm using right now it's right above the camera and it has notes about what I want to make sure I cover in this video so right now I'm using a, a different tripod but I normally would use the Mi Photo because it's very easy um, well, it's, a, it's just handy so those are two ways that I use it with um, use it other than just for photography per se um, but uh, 
and if I do that, place it, you know, put it in place and walk away from it. You know, I'm going to shoot remotely or I'm just videoing something that's going to be ongoing. Uh, it's, it's fine. But here's where the frustration starts. The way that uh, MeePhoto chose to save on weight, I believe, is in doing a different, uh, using a different method for extending the legs. Instead of having the clip up, you know, the clips or the turn knobs, uh, which add weight, each each of them adds weight to the whole overall uh, unit. Uh, they have devised this twisty thing. So you turn the bottom, the foot on one leg, and pull it out, and one section comes out. And my thinking is, okay, I've turned the knob, I pull it out, I think all the sections, all four sections are going to come out. That doesn't happen. So you have to turn it all the way to get all four sections. And you can see it extends it pretty nicely. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four sections. Uh, and then you counterclockwise turn it to loosen it and push it right back in. Well, that's fine. And that that's just a little frustrating. It's just something... My frustrations are things to get used to. They're not things to hate. They're not things that don't work. It's just a matter of getting used to doing something the way this tripod is constructed. The second thing is, in order to get the full height of the tripod, you turn the ball head to loosen that, and it hides or reveals four, uh, four shafts, no, three sections, whoops, one, two, three sections that are stored inside the, the, uh, the vertical shaft of the, of the tripod. So that's fine too. If you put this up like this and leave it alone, you're fine. But the way you collapse this is by turning the ball head counterclockwise and pushing down. So what has happened to me, I took this one to uh, an event where I wanted to record our granddaughter and I wanted to use uh, my EM-1. And so I had the EM-1 on, on, on the ball head uh, and it's, 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 a weight, it's a weighty camera. It's not heavy, but it's weighty, more weighty than my iPhone is. And so if I had this up like this and I just grabbed this, it would fall down. Uh, and that just got a little frustrating. So it's very, it's very sensitive that you can unlock this very easily. So that's, that's really kind of the frustrating part for me. So those are my frustrations. No big deals. Uh, it, uh, it is a, you know, as I've said now probably too many times, it's something to get used to. And with any equipment, that's really what it's all about because, uh, trust me, I'm sure that a lot of, uh, a lot of thought went into the design of this tripod and um, how I choose to then use it is uh, maybe a little bit different than the engineers who were designing it. But all in all, it's, as I said, I love the tripod. It's a, it is a great lightweight tripod and it will fit in my uh, Cooper Slim 13 bag in the top. So it's, it, when it's collapsed at its 10.4 inches, uh, even with the bag, it'll fit inside that bag, uh, or in, inside that camera bag. So that's, that will encourage me to take it with me more, more. Uh, I usually have taken my lollipod, which is a very, very lightweight tripod and, and not, and it's great for holding a light or particularly LED lights. Uh, but it's not great for, uh, any camera that has a little bit of heft to it. Uh, it's, it's fine. It would be fine also with a smartphone holder. Um, but anyway. So that's my take on the MeePhoto Backpacker Air tripod. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Photography and Technology Tools. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.